Alrighty, so here we have Clockwork Aquario being played on PS4, uh, recode courtesy of Anand Games. So this is a um, a once thought lost um, arcade game by Sega and uh, Weston. This game's uh, pretty awesome. So we've got training mode. Uh, use this mode to get used to the game mechanics. You have unlimited credits, but the game ends after stage two. Easy mode. You are limited to 9 credits to beat the game. Normal mode. In normal mode, you are limited to 5 credits to beat the game. Hard mode, you're limited to 3 credits. Bonus stage minigame. The minigame unlocks after level 3 and has been uh, has been completed once in any difficulty. This mini this mini game usually only appears in the two-player mode between stage 3 and 4. It cannot be played alone and requires another person to control player 2. Arcade mode. Arcade mode unlocks after the game was beaten once in any difficulty. It allows you to check and modify various arcade board settings the game offers. To insert coins, press R1. To enter service mode during the game, press L1. You start the game with the current settings. Select Exit on the service menu. Here's the gallery. Here's soundtrack and view credits. So we're going to go ahead and check out arcade mode. Now we select any mode you have uh, the options. So we've got display. So here's perfect. Here's one on one par. Here's full screen. Now if you do want a one on one or full screen, you do have the option of changing uh, the filters. You have soft, crispy, and razor. So razor, crispy, soft. Sorry. Uh, razor, so crispy, soft. There we go. You have a shader. You have a CRT filter, you have different mask types, mask intensity, I mean you can really get get into this. Sharpness, I mean yeah, lots of lots of options. Yeah, default. I'm gonna go back put back to default. Default. There we go. Okay. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do I'm going to turn the shader off. I don't like the shader. And we'll do perfect. Because I, I don't really care for full screen in this game. So we're going to open game. So here you've got different tests you can make, you can do. I'm not going to do any of them though. Let's so exit. Go ahead and insert some coins with R1. Press start button. Alright, so you can play as Huck Londo, uh, Ellie Moon, or Gush. I'm gonna go ahead and do Huck Londo. So you can see you can jump on enemies, or you can hit them. And then you can earn, you can hit, um, you can earn gems. To uh, earn an extra life. Um, I love how huge the sprites are. Um, and I love the music in the game. Music's really cool. I love the, the backgrounds. I mean, this game's amazing. Um, this is a game I've been waiting to check out for quite some time. Um, since it was announced, I think... Oh gosh, I want to say... Maybe a year or so ago. But yeah, you, you get gems to earn extra life. Um, I like how each each character has um, has different color gems. Um, uh, Ellie Moon has uh, pink gems, and then Gush has uh, uh, gold color gems, and then uh, this guy's got green. I love the animation. I mean, this game's amazing. I'm really glad this was finally uh, released. Um, it's available on Switch. It's also available on PS4. Like I'm playing here. And I believe it's also on Xbox One. And after each stage, obviously, you have a boss.
which you can either which you can either jump on, um, or you can hit, or you can throw uh, the enemies at. I'm gonna play the like to show just to show you each character. Oh come on! There we go. Round clear. Her gems are pink. Oh, come on. I was trying to. Oh, we'll, we'll play Scash now and show you him. I like how each character is voice acted. That's kind of cool. Oh, and then, yeah, you can order. You can get the. The star power that is a uh, projectile shot. Um. This is not permanent. It is something that just go away. Just like it did just there. As much as I appreciate the voice, uh, the voice acting here, it does get a little bit, a little bit uh, uh, annoying <laughs> after a while. <laughs> but, uh, but overall. This is definitely a decent game, and again, I'm very glad that this was finally finished. This game looks great, it plays great. It is definitely a game I would highly recommend um, any fan of uh, arcade-style brawlers pick up. Um, this game is phenomenal. Kill all the balloons I'm trying to do here. There we go. Really? See that? I mean, I'll be able to get them over here, but that was kind of annoying. I just passed through it. There we go. So there's a there, there's a trophy where if you kill a certain amount of enemies in this stage, you'll get a trophy for it. I'm trying to. Well, uh, I'll, I'll do that later. Oops. I think it's like 50 or so, something like that. There we go. That's the star power. Should pop it. There we go. 
I like how after a certain, a certain amount of hits, the robot looks broken. <laughs> there we go, I got a giant robotic fish. Oh. I'll go back to playing the, the kid here. He's my preferred character anyway. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm gonna miss two enemies, seriously? Oh well. Nice, we're gonna crab enemy here. Oh. Come on, get him. Yeah, I got him. I love how ginormous the enemies are in some of these stages. There we go, got, got feeling better. Oh, we missed a gem. Jellyfish, oh, those jellyfish enemies. Trophy, cool. Got another trophy. So overall, really, really good game. Um, 
again, I'm very, very happy that this finally came, you know, came out. Um, I'm glad that was lost to <laughs> to the, uh, you know, to to, to time. Um, definitely a game worth checking out if you guys like, um, you know, old '90s style um, Sega games, and you like their old arcade games. Uh, and or uh, beat em ups. This game is definitely worth checking out. I cannot recommend this game enough. It's two player. Um, got great graphics, great music. Um, overall, amazing game. Alright, well, it's been about 50 minutes to look of, at, uh, <laughs> at the uh, arcade mode here for uh, Clockwork Aquario. Um, I want to thank uh, Indian Games ex uh, extent tremendously, rather, for the uh, review opportunity. Um, again, this is a game I've been looking forward to for a long time, and I'm glad I was able to finally check this out uh, and uh, review it for you guys. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.